The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot. As well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to a new foes appeared. Today, we are going to talk about a foe that I initially thought would have fit better as a Spooky Month rep. But why Spooky Month to be exact? Well, this character and the character I'm going to talk about in A New Foes Appeared in 93 was originally on the table for Spooky Month. But after everything going on off camera, I had to push it forward to January. So, who is this new foe then? Well, my friends, take a look at this. Here I go. That's right, Dry Bones from the Super Mario Bros. franchise is who we are going to talk about today. I mean, a new foes appeared in terms of Mario has done quite well last year, and I was initially intending to include Dry Bones, but not as his own new foes appeared episode. I originally planned to include Dry Bones as an Echo Fighter for Koopa Trooper, but I just felt like the behaviour of the two characters would be a bit different. That's why I tried to separate the two. And who knows, this might be the last Mario enemy that I talk about, and although I do have more Mario characters planned for new foes appeared, but not many of them. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the attributes, the playstyle would be Undying Skirmisher. And the stats would consist of the weight being comparable to Toon Link, the walk speed being comparable to Fox, the initial dash being slightly faster than Captain Falcon, the run speed nearly being the same as Sonic's, the air speed being Meta Knight, the fall speed being comparable to Bowser Jr. would be the same size as Yoshi, the same frame data as Sheik would deal the same damage as Pikachu, the combos would be comparable to Mario, the KO power would be comparable to Ike, and the recovery would be comparable to King K. Rool. And unlike Kiriko, Dry Bones will not have a HUD. For the moveset, the neutral special would be Bone Toss. Dry Bone hurls a spinning bone projectile forward at medium range. The bone maintains a boomerang-like trajectory, allowing for potential hits on the return path. It deals moderate damage and can be angled slightly upward or downward for strategic zoning. The side special would be Dry Heart. 
Channeling his car prowess from Mario Kart DS, aka my favorite Mario Kart game, Dry Bones dashes forward in his thrusty cart, similar to Wario's motorcycle charge. On contact, opponents take damage and it has a chance of temporarily stunning them. The move grants Dry Bones with horizontal recovery potential when used off stage. The up special would be Parabones. Transforming into Parabones, Dry Bones gains the ability to glide upward, mimicking the capability of Paratrooper. This offers excellent vertical recovery and maneuverability. While airborne, Dry Bones can perform aerial attacks and dodge incoming strikes. For the down special, we have Dry Bones Spin. Entering his iconic shell, Dry Bones spins swiftly in place, resembling a defensive move with offensive potential. The spinning motion deals damage to nearby opponents and grant brief invincibility against certain attacks. This move can also be used to edge guard or encounter oncoming threats. And the final smash would be Dry Cooper Troop. Dry Bones unleashes his attack, summoning a cinematic underground stage as he commands an army of fellow skeletal allies, including Dry Goombas, Dry Piranha Plants, and Fish Bones, who swarm and bombard the stage, causing chaos and dealing massive damage to any core opponents. It culminates in a Bone Strike launching foes skyward in a tremendous force. For the alts and the Kirby hat, the first alt we have is classic Dry Bones. The original Dry Bones appearance with a typical grey skeletal structure. The second alt we have Blue Shell Dry Bones, a variation with a blue shell with a bluish tint to the bone. Red Shell Dry Bones, another variation with a red shell colour with reddish bones. Green Shell Dry Bones, a variation with a green shell colour and a greenish tint to the bones. Yellow Shell Dry Bones is a variation with a yellow shell and bones having a yellowish hue. And practically the purple shell, black shell, and white shell are all the same, but not really. And for the Kirby hat, when Kirby swallows Dry Bones, Kirby will transform into a skeleton, similar to Dry Bones, but with Kirby's round and cute appearance, adapted into skeleton form. Kirby will retain the skeletal features, maybe with a hint of traditional pink coloration, and Kirby's eyes would appear as glowing orbs or retain their usual shape in a skeletal form. And this transformation would pay homage to Dry Bones while incorporating Kirby's unique aesthetic. For the classic mode route, we have Undead Encounters. Round one would be Spooky Partners facing off against Dry Bones and Boo. Round two would be Megalovania Mayhem against Sans as a Mii Gunner costume. Round three would be Twilight Shadows facing off against Wolf Link and Midna. Round four would be Phantom Maze facing off against the Pac-Man Ghost. Round five would be Nightmare's Grasp facing off against Gengar and Darkrai. Round 6 would be Death Blossom, facing off against Reaper from Overwatch. And the final round would be Spectral Showdown against Marks. For the Echo Fighter, Dry Bones will not have his own Echo Fighter, but will include Dry Bowser as an Echo Fighter of Bowser alongside Dry Bones. 
I thought I would use this in a sneaky way only to save me from doing a new Foes Appear episode for Dry Bowser. Even though I don't practically have room, I think with me sneaking Dry Bowser into the episode, I feel like it could be Dry Bones slash Dry Bowser at this rate. So the playstyle for Dry Bowser would be Infernal Menace. Dry Bowser, being an echo fighter of Bowser, would share most of Bowser's attributes with some visual and thematic differences. The changes from Bowser would be the neutral special being Dry Fire Breath. This would emit blue flames, perhaps a slightly longer range, but less damage compared to Bowser's Fire Breath, and the flames cause more hits on, but less knockback. The side special would be Fiery Shell Slam, and would perform a Shell Slam that leads a, a trial of fiery effects, and deals less damage, but has slightly faster startup and end lag. The up special would be Inferno Leap, where Dry Bowser leaps upward engulfed in blue flames, dealing damage on ascent but less vertical distance compared to Bowser's Whirling Fortress but inflicts damage on contact. And the down special would be Bone Crash, would create a shockwave upon landing with a fiery effect and has larger area of effect but deals slightly less damage than Bowser's Bowser Bomb. For the amiibo, the Dry Bones amiibo features a skeletal Koopa character in a dynamic and pose, capturing its iconic appearance from the Mario series would have a menacing expression and Dry Bones would be depicted in a mid-action pose, showcasing its resilient and undead nature. The amiibo would stand on a sturdy base adorned with thematic elements like scattered bones and cracked stone surface. The attention to detail includes the signature blue shell and red eyes, bringing this beloved Mario character to life in the form of a collectible figurine. And the compatible games would include Super Smash Bros, where you tap in Dry Bones to summon a fighter you can train, Mario Kart to unlock a Dry Bones Me outfit, and Boo Detective Spooky to unlock new cases. For the stage, I picked Dry Dry Ruins from Mario Kart Wii. I wanted the perfect excuse to use Dry Dry Ruins as a stage in a new Foes Appeared episode. And I thought, Dry Bones having his own episode might also be the perfect excuse for this. So what would the stage be like? So the stage would immerse players in an arid, sun-scorched stage reminiscent of a long-forgotten civilization. The track weaves through intricate ruins featuring crumbling pillars and treacherous sand pits. As players navigate the twisting paths, they must contend with falling debris and an occasional appearance of giant, a giant dry bones cart, paying homage to a formidable enemy. The dynamic stage elements mirrors the hazards present in Mario Kart, creating an engaging and unpredictable battlefield. And as the race intensifies, the stage transitions to a subterranean section, plunging fighters to the depths of the ruins. Here, crumbling platforms and shifting sand provide new challenges, requiring strategic positioning and agile maneuvers. The fusion of Mario Kart aesthetics with Smash Bros 
the gameplay would offer a thrilling and visually stunning experience, ensuring that Dry Dry Ruins becomes memorable as a background for Smash Fighters, especially those who appreciate the rich history of Mario Kart Wii. And I thought Dry Dry Ruins was the perfect stage for Dry Bones. I used Koopa Cape for Koopa Trooper, and Koopa Cape and Dry Dry Ruins are of course the perfect pair, so I thought Dry Dry Ruins as the stage for Dry Bones would work. For the support fighters, I picked Bony Beetle, Fishbone, and Reba. Bony Beetle, I didn't pick this character as an excuse to reference the Blue Beetle movie that was secretly great. Don't even ask. But Bony Beetle, known for his tough shell, joins the battle as an to assist Dry Bones. The support fighter would utilize its durable exterior to absorb damage and shield Dry Bones from incoming attacks. And Bony Beetle can charge forward, knocking opponents away, providing Dry Bones with some breathing space. The shell also grants protection against projectiles, making it a reliable ally for strategic plays. Fishbone can hover around the stage, targeting opponents with a swift and erratic movements. When it comes to into contact with foes, it inflicts damage and disrupts their movements. This support fighter adds an aerial threat, creating opportunities for Dry Bones to capitalize on opponents' vulnerabilities. And even though Reva was only introduced in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, which is fairly recent, it's one that fits Dry Bones as a character, and using it as a support fighter would actually be interesting, because Reva would be a hybrid of Chain Chomp and Dry Bones. This hybrid enemy charges relentlessly across the stage, chomping at opponents in his path, and Reva's attacks have the potential to stun and trap foes, setting them up for Dry Bones' follow-up assaults, and this dynamic support fighter would combine the relentless pursuit of Chain Chomp with the skeletal resilience of Dry Bones, offering a strategic advantage to the player. So guys, what do you think of Dry Bones? I get that I did cut a few features from a new foes appeared, but as a part of my New Year's resolution, I am trying to make my future videos as short as possible. Because one issue I did have with 2023 is my videos being too long. So if anyone has noticed why I removed music, spirits, and the reveal trailer from my future new foes appeared episodes, that is why. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another future new foes appeared episode like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB8 out.